The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wood and sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip, you won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info jeremy is running around this morning somewhere 107th avenue and west olive that's at a Safeway. he's going to be out there for a while this morning got to stay at least till nine this morning because uh we started a little late so jeremy's on the is he on the horn right now uh oh, he's call, sorry. Waiting, yeah. jeremy's uh, out there he's doing the operation hydration thing uh, getting that water all loaded up, loading up our trucks. And again, uh, I'd be remiss in saying that the Arizona drinking team dropping off a full semi from Hensley of uh, bottled water this week at the Phoenix Rescue Mission was the most amazing thing I've seen in any of our donation anythings, uh, which is great. And I don't know that we're doing the doubling up this year. I don't, I don't think, think we, we can. Are. Right. It's up to a certain limit anyway. But hey, they, Pepsi, bring another semi over, will you? <laughs> they greatly <laughs> surpassed that. And it's pretty awesome. Jeremy, how's it going out there this morning? It's going great, Johnny. We're already pretty much full up over here. Nice. Well, pile it up. Let's see what the shocks on this thing can handle. Oh, let's take it all the way to the ground, Johnny. That's right. Drop it down. <laughs> you're over on the West Valley. It's just going to look like another lowrider cruising around on 100 Avenue. Yeah. yeah, you're going to fit right in. Play That's some beautiful. Tejano music. You'll be fine. Uh, what else you got left? Anything good? Um, I mean, I'm kind of out of giveaways, but remember, that's not why I'm here. I'm collecting water. So come on out and give to a great cause. We're going to be out here a little bit longer. We're pretty full, but let's see if we can blow the shocks out on this work truck. <laughs> it's not mine, so who cares? Exactly. Come on out to the Safeway, donate some water. Beautiful. Jeremy, that's the attitude I'm looking for. Break the stuff with charitable donations. That's the goal. Well done. See if we can get some leaf springs dragging down the road on the way home. Well done, kid. All right, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Jeremy's out there uh, uh, at least until 9 uh, at uh, 107th Avenue and West Olive Avenue at the Safeway, simple as punch. Man, oh, man, you start that talk about the COVID, and back and forth we go, my emails of people, and I, I've been saying this for a long time. I thought I've said it. I, I believe it to be true. COVID was a dress rehearsal, and unfortunately didn't smack us hard enough to scare us. It just made everybody kind of bow up to a thing and say, I don't have to do it on me. It made us petulant teenagers. When the real one rolls along, and I'm starting to think maybe we got a real one right behind us here. Not that it's deadly or anything else, but we got something else coming tied to it. It, it never really went away. We all just felt more comfortable. And, uh, and now, but we were just talking to this guy's like, I'll never get the vaccine, and you don't have to do anything for me. If I die from it, I die. And that's the attitude. And you're totally entitled to that attitude. That's fine. But what, what, the emails that are really coming is how mad people are going to be at the anti-vaxxers if we start closing things up or yep. start doing masks or yep. the school thing that's going on right now that's with the schools thing. suing the government saying you better make this mandatory because uh, like the guy that emailed me, it's one of the little angels over there in Gilbert, their parents let their kid come in, got the COVID, yep. now they got to quarantine a whole one day of school. And some kid came rolling in with the Delta and, and now they got to quarantine an entire classroom. The teachers are losing their minds like – so. Brady said it. I think you're right. The key to this whole thing is going to be shaming. Yeah. Because what we you're going to have that. to do, you're going to have to say, all right, you can, uh, the restaurant isn't closed. You can come in and you got to prove your, your vaccination. If you don't, you sit in the corner with masks all the time. And we have you in a really, it's what, we did, like smoking smoking it's what we did to smokers yeah. in the yep. 90s. We yep. made them feel terrible yep. and put them in rooms that were yep. so uncomfortable and the service was bad awful. and it stunk and it didn't feel clean. And smokers were like, I don't want to, I want to sit in a normal clean space. Smoking stopped in public because of shaming, period. And they priced smokers out. I dated a girl who smoked in the 90s when they changed that rule in like 94. And she used to get them out of a vending machine. It was like six bucks for a pack of smokes out of a vending machine in 1994. It's like almost ten now, I think. Yeah, and Is she was really? wow. yeah, she was one of those good smokers too that she never smelled. And my friend's business, his uh, smoking machine, uh, vending machine mm-hmm. at place, was bringing them six thousand bucks a month. Out of oh yeah, because they need it. 
But yeah, she was one of those lucky ones. She smoked and it didn't stick to her clothes. But some of those people that smoke, you smell it right away. There's a couple yeah. people last night, I'm like, smoker, smoker. Like the second I, I smell them, and this nose picks up everything. I got a giant schnoz. But the uh, yeah, I, we're going to have to start shaming people. And that's unfortunate because that's going to cause fights. Everything I foresee is fighting. I don't see reasonable the shaming, I, inconvenience. I don't see cooler like heads. I don't see uh, reasonable logic. I don't see anything. I see fighting. Well, look at planes. The, it's, it's well. Thirty. I saw a stat: thirty-seven hundred complaints to the FAA about unruly passengers. Right, because we're all mad at 2, each other. Two thousand of those are over masks. And Bert's going to Vegas next week, and yeah. they've already got the masks back on as of last week, and they're going to start moving some shows. Did this, they ever stop? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they did. They did. Yeah, they yeah, Last time we were up there, there were there was no masks. It was full. Pull. When I was oh, there, really? yeah. we had to wear masks in the casino, but in the, and again in the restaurant, it's like when I'm asking for a table, and when they walk me to a table, I I couldn't catch. I had to have a mask. But when I sat down, all safe of a sudden, zone. Yeah, COVID was. Uh, <laughs> I was impervious to it. It was the stupid thing in the world. But yeah, I don't see it. I don't, uh, the emails I'm getting right now, people yelling at me, and I'm like, look, do whatever you want. I'm just saying, I'm not an idiot. I'm looking at. Society. I'm not saying my own beliefs. I'm saying society. I don't see people cooperating. And if you're unvaccinated, people like me are going to be like, I'm not stopping for you. It was like the there there was always uh, one or two people that would go into a store even when it was done the first time. I'm like, yeah. I'm never wearing a mask. And every now and then you'd be... Which you, is fine. Uh, yeah. The mask thing, I'm not so sure, was ever... I mean, sure, you put a little filter between you and someone else, and you're, you're stopping something. It's and I know some people actually have a, well, what I hear, understand, is a medical condition sure. that you can't wear the mask because of the- Flip Orley's lying. He doesn't really He's not. That. It's not even Flip. It's someone else that <laughs> has Flip had a card he would- that said he had asthma. He wrote on his own computer. Yeah. And people would tell him to put a mask on, he'd hold it up. It's just not worth it. But there's going to be people trenching up and getting more firm with their beliefs of saying, I'm going to dig deeper into this not going to do it thing. But I'm telling you, this this is gonna. I don't see this. This well, next that's the wave thing. Good. The people that took the shot did it so that they could go out and do things again. Yeah, yeah. And so if if the non vaxxers are are that way because they're the ones that wanted yeah. to do things the whole time, right? If it comes back on them, then they're going to have to figure that out. And I'm fine with. Uh, look, I'm I'm if a you population just say, guy. You know, get rid of it for a lot of the people too. That if you got the shot, I know that you know one of the things hindering is it could be two days that you're you're up. You're not feeling well after the oh, shot. Oh, oh, oh. oh, compared to being look dead. six weeks compared to being dead, Brady. Yeah. Just excuses. Yeah. If you don't want to get the shot, just say I don't want to get the shot. Don't say oh I don't want to be sick for a day. How's the guy that you mentioned the other day doing? Not, not good. good. Not good. Still on the life support. But yeah, it's it's look, and you're you're at home. She's she's doing her thing. <laughs> I've got Megan. Just got her first shot. You don't. Everybody's allowed to do whatever they want to do. But. Yeah, I don't know why. But yeah, I met people last night that were screaming, yelling, I won't do it. I Once the like, papers start whipping out, that's going to the inconvenience. When the Hitler papers come out, yep. people are going to get really mad when you're like, show me your papers to go eat at this, yeah. to go over to, you know, Four Garcia's weeks. and say, I'm vaccinated. Show me your papers is not going to go over well, <laughs> especially gonna... an 18 year old girl sitting at a, at a hostess stand who is going to catch the brunt of it all saying, yeah. I need to see your papers before yeah. you can come in. Look, like, who are you? You get some jackets, going to start yelling at some teenager who's just doing her job. It's going to. All fights. All I see is fights. I think that's gonna. I think it's gonna make it worse because I think they're thinking. Well, if we do this, we're gonna. It's gonna push people to get more vaccines. I think it's gonna be the opposite. I think it's gonna push the anti-vaxxers to get that much more. Pissed I think what off. he. I think well, what that's he's what talking, I was. Yeah, yeah, I think what he's talking about. The fear is gonna get the people that are on the fence to get the shot. But those anti-vaxxers, they're done no matter. Oh yeah, what. yeah, yeah. No, done no matter what. Oh, well, guy just emailed us. Emails us all the time. Brent said, "Thanks to this asshole, I get this test results this morning." Uh. Our smell and taste came back. We don't have it anymore. They showed up to work, and then I get this text, and he sends me a text that says, uh, Brent blank, the result of your COVID-19 test is positive. Oh. So people wandering around, going, ah, and now he's got it. I don't know if you're – he's got the Delta. So good luck, Brent. Oh, I hope it works God. out. Yeah, we'll Brent. see. Hunker down, buddy. Yeah. yeah. So he, he got it from a coworker? Is yeah. that what he's saying? Oh. Yeah. We were like, I couldn't smell or taste, but I didn't really think about it. Brought it in. You can oh. still catch it vaccinated or otherwise, but good luck, Brent. I hope you have the I hope you have the thing that protects you from going down south. Or I hope you get a mild case of it. But yeah, I just I'm not saying the shots the cure. I'm not saying everybody should get it, all that. I'm saying I don't see anything but fights. I'm not taking a side here. I, I prefer it if you got vaccinated. I think that's the smart thing. But all I see is fighting. That's coming. So brace yourselves for 
being smart and logical in situations. But man, oh man, I feel so sorry for the poor, those, those girls last night at Four Peaks would have to ask everybody for a vaccination right. card. Exactly. And you're going to get people that are going to want to swing at you for that. So you're just going to see the big bouncers return now. Think of it. The Before Karens, you can even go inside. The Karens lost their minds over masks. <laughs> oh, I know. Imagine now you have to have a vaccination card to get into the Walmart you're dying to shop in or they won't let you in. Ricky Schroeder lost his mind. Sweet Silver Spoons went crazy because it's like, where in the world is this mandated? Blah, blah, blah. You're going to see nothing but, but people losing their minds over it if we go to that card. Everybody becomes a junior lawyer. At yeah, point. I'm fine with the card. I don't like it. I don't like it either. But we're in an odd but... situation right now where it's almost like a thing where it's like, okay, for a little bit I'll do this because it just seems well, we so have strange. To, we have to present paperwork for a number of different things throughout Not really. Life. Not to go to a restaurant, you don't. Not to go to – sure, I get it. Yeah, but you, to you, drive, to, to you have to get insurance. You're mandated sure. to do all this kind of other stuff. I get it. It's not a personal health in, in, a intrusion. But you you make these little concessions throughout life yeah. everywhere. You whip out your paper, get a drink sometimes every now and then at a bar. Yeah. So It's a little different. Like they won't – like you're right. The insurance thing is, is you have to have it and all that. But it's not like one of those things where if you don't have it – you can't go to Zips. But their thing is... You know, it, it's taking away your right to just go have a good time. Now, you shouldn't be driving, and there's laws right, against it. Right. But this, is, this isn't a law. It's just know, somebody's decision to say, saying, go away. And sure. don't you think most of the... But a business is, has that right, yeah, too, right? Once they require it, I think a lot of the people that won't get the vaccination will just say, all right, fine, I'm not going there. But licenses... But there's plenty more people I don't like, think oh. that. I think that they're going to be more... And try to uh, challenge and try it. To challenge and get it. it. Yeah. Licenses and insurance is totally different because yeah. you're you're not injecting something in your body. Well, that's why I said and it's that's not what, a health yeah. thing. Yeah. No, it's no, not right. a health thing. So. And that is it. That is a, a question mark. But I'm not. I, look, I don't care which side of the vaccine aisle you're on. I just know what's coming. And if that, look, look, reading the things I'm reading this morning and reading all your emails and all these, there's nobody's happy. Nobody's comfortable with it. People vaccinated are mad. People unvaccinated are mad. That's where we start losing it. And I just, I, I just don't want to see. I want cooler heads to prevail in this situation. I don't see any right now. And I also don't see a whole lot of leadership coming from anybody. And that's not Republican, Democrat. I don't see anybody because nobody's got an idea. I mean, somebody's step, stepping up saying, we need to just be kind of cool to each other for a little bit. You're pissed off for all the right reasons, and you're pissed off for all the right reasons. Nobody's wrong. Sorry, hospitals. But cool it. And, for, and just going into it, don't yell it. Yeah, sorry, hospitals is right. Don't start yelling at some greeter at Walmart who's just being asked to do their job. And that's where, those are the people are going to – that's where the stir-ups are going to happen. The, the guy trying to check you out at Safeway is like, I need to see your vaccine card or we can't. It's our policy. And then you start shouting at him. The next thing you know, there's a fight because a person behind you is yelling. We had, uh, it was masks before. Now with Hitler papers, forget it. Show me your papers will not go over good with 60% no. of this nation. I'm one of them. I'll participate for a little bit. But show me your paper to get into, you know, uh, Brett and I are, have a dinner you just thing won't go there. Yeah. with this doctor. And if we had to go show me your papers... No, yeah. and anywhere we went, if it just became like a thing, I'd be wouldn't be good. Not a good thing. I can imagine it's just going to start up. And you're right, Brady. People, uh, I think the vaccinated will stop going out. I think the people that don't want to, the smart, logical, normal people will stop going and doing things, vaccinated or not, because they don't want to be in the mix with the idiots. Because I think idiots are going to prevail in this thing. Loud vaccinated people and smug, and loud unvaccinated smug people. We'll trench up and we'll get tribal warfare on this. Please, I'm begging you as an audience that's huge. Keep those words in mind. Let's have cooler heads prevail. Let's let the normal people kind of walk walk through whatever side you're on. Just be smart. Don't yell at the, the teenage girl that's just trying to seat you at uh, – She's just trying to make a living. All she's doing is trying to, she's trying to get a the couple waitress, bucks. the bartender, everybody. Yeah. It's, she wants to click on to a new dress at Forever 21 before they – that's all she wants. She wants to order some clothes. That's all she's yeah. going for. She's not there to be – Political. Don't don't fight her. Oh, it's going to happen, though. Be smart tonight at Faster Pussycat. That's right. I'll be at Faster Pussycat tonight. And if somebody starts screaming, I need to see your papers to get into Faster Pussycat, I'll be like, I'm leaving. <laughs> Nothing is worth this. I'll give you a ticket. But I'm look, I'm not going to have to have my vax card, although I do carry it with me. I have my vaccination thing. Most with me. people are taking pictures on their phone. They say put it in a... Uh, in your wallet, in a file that can't, you know, locked file. And then I've seen, I guess people can get. Can you just fake that? It. And I've seen people That's just basically yeah. using, just printing them off on their computer and stuff. Because like the card was nothing. It wasn't like an official Photoshop card. Yeah. Easy. yeah. Alexa emails. Uh, she and uh, Mike were the ones who went to the Suns game with us, and she said Mike and I are considering sticking all the unvaxed idiots at a shun table far away from everyone else at our wedding. 
They will be served their meal last. If they want to be stupid, then they can have a crappy night. I'm already for an open bar. Get the goddamn shot. Just don't invite them. And by yeah, the way, don't invite them. Uninvite Alexa, them. I hate to break it to you. Everybody's going to have a cruddy night at your wedding. Yeah. Nobody no one likes, likes, no weddings, one likes weddings. Alexa. Everybody free bar or yeah. not. It's That's the, the truth. truth. They like the free bar. And the reason you have to get your friends drunk is because most weddings are really boring. I'd rather be at the show. They don't the like the ceremony the most. Nobody likes the ceremony, <laughs> especially if you're Catholic. Oh, for oh, God's oh. sakes, you people and your Catholic weddings. No more. The worst is going to a wedding that has a cash bar. It's like, all right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'll see you later. You know what a cash bar is? Every bar in the city, and yeah, yours is not exactly. good, so I'm leaving. Yeah. I don't want to hear stroking for real <laughs> and, and have to pay for the drinks. I hope Alexa and Mike are very happy, but your guests won't be. Nobody likes weddings. Here's They're your awful. COD gift, wedding gift. Yeah. The only people that <laughs> like weddings are 37-year-old women who have never been married because they think this is the, this is romantic and they're going to meet that special someone because they watch too many Jennifer Aniston movies. I'm going to catch the bouquet. I'll catch it, and then the next thing you know, I'm going to be married too. Nah, first thing you need to do is catch about 1500 bucks and over to Fitness for Home and grab a treadmill because that's the reason you're single. And uh, the wedding is not a magic elixir just because uh, men don't feel it. I need to find that special lady at a wedding. And then marry her like we are witnessing today. Nope. No guy's done that ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever in his life. Hope to meet that special someone at a wedding. It happens, but nobody's sure. looking for it. No, no guy's going, and this is the one. I'm going to a wedding and the romance will overtake me. No man's ever said looking that. the one right now. In his life. You're looking to get laid because they know there's a lot of easy kills that they just got mushed up with, with emotions at a wedding. And they're, they're real easy to manipulate at weddings. No, man. I'll be overtaken by emotion and fall in love with a lady tonight. Doesn't We don't think that way. So, ladies, just skip it. Alexa, a happy wedding, but it's garbage. And don't invite. Just tell people, like, look, we're vaccinated guests only. And lose some friends. They don't like you anyway. <laughs> I'd tell people I wasn't vaccinated to get out of a wedding. Got that right. Ugh. Oh, I can't make it. I'm anti-vax. In fact, I've never even been shot for polio. So, I got all of it. Uh, it's 833. All that happening while the football season starts today. And I just can't imagine the lunacy that's going to happen if if the NFL has to take a step back. Oh, because California's doing it. New York's doing it. Uh, there's going to be some weird stuff coming. So everybody just stay cool. But football starting tonight. My Steelers, Cowboys, Hall of Fame game. We have to start changing our brains into football mode. And I think uh, usually we kick the season off with a stump us. Give us some questions. You guys got questions? Super Bowl era only. Questions about all of football? A good question, and maybe we'll get you some faster pussycat tickets or whatever else we got in the bin. I'll get some for you. <laughs> we'll get you. We'll get you something worthwhile. <laughs> you don't have to. If you want the pussycat tickets, we'll hand them over. But otherwise, we'll give you a prize, an actual prize. I think we got WWE SmackDown. Oh, we do? I believe oh, so. Right. I oh, believe so. Pussycat stuff is ridiculous. <laughs> These are good ones. Uh, if you want to play, 585-9800. All you have to do is a little trivia. And the morning sickness, we'll try to solve your trivia and answer your questions. If we can't, if you stump us, well, darn it all, you get tickets. Football is back, and we're getting in the mindset. It's 98 KUPD. You guys partake? I'll partake. 98. Hit me. 98 KUPD. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com.